What does the future of web development look like? Are we gonna be replaced? Does it make sense to start learning to code today? And is there any concrete information that can give me some real numbers? Let's find out. Blogging platforms, drag and drop editors, do-it-yourself solutions, themes, plugins, augmented reality, virtual reality, native applications for mobile devices, voice search, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. What do all these technologies have in common? Over the years, these varying technologies were all supposed to be the end of web developers. Now, we rewind the clock a couple of decades and take a look at the first websites that went online. They were basic HTML-based documents. There's virtually no styling to them. There was no real dynamic interaction with it and most often had to be hand-coded. But then times evolved. We had database-driven websites. Now, this empowered website owners to be able to scale their websites to larger types of sites because instead of having to hand code every single page you can create a couple of templates you could use html with css with javascript with php and mysql which is by the way what's still used today for the vast majority of websites in order to create a couple of template files and to dynamically generate content based on what's being queried to the database but seriously are web developers jobs in jeopardy is the prospect of becoming a web developer a good thing nowadays? What's the outlook five years from now, 10 years from now? Will there even be a need for web developers, for coders, for programmers, and people to work with technology? I mean, we hear every single day about machine learning and artificial intelligence getting better by the day. Chess masters have been taken down. Go masters have been taken down as well. And now poker players have been taken down by artificial intelligence. So are coders next? And should you just abandon and in your dream of becoming a web developer? The answer is no, and here's why. While everybody's gonna say that artificial intelligence and machine learning is gonna do away with the need for a web developer, the reality is the next five years, 10 years, that's not gonna be the case. The singularity is not gonna replace the individual anytime soon. Will AI get better? Yes, it will. Will machine learning get better? Yes, it will. Eventually, will there be a time where people are not going to be needed as much in order to create new technologies? Most likely. But that's not happening tomorrow. It's not happening next year. It's not going to happen in five years or 10 years. Machines still make mistakes. The algorithms are still not perfect. Artificial intelligence and machine learning still have a ways to go. And while we're getting closer to quantum computing, we're still in our infancy in learning about quantum computers, cribbits, and things of that nature. All right, so back that up. Back this statement up. That's probably what you're thinking about. All right, so if you go to a website like the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they have an outlook, the 10 year outlook for pretty much every single type of job out there. And they have a section and a category designated just for web developers. And the outlook is really good for the next 10 years or eight years at this point, because they came up with an analysis from 2016 and projecting it to 2026. And in there, it says that web developers and the field itself will grow at a pace of about 15%. And that's faster and larger than the average field out there. Software development actually has a higher percentage rate of growth at 24%. And all this is gonna be driven around machine learning and artificial intelligence and voice search and the internet of things, augmented reality and virtual reality. So as a person who's a freelance web developer who still works with the most popular coding stack, I feel confident that the next 10 years, the machines won't be taken over. Now, if you do believe that the machines are gonna take over and that we as individuals are gonna be obsolete, that goes for more than just coders because artificial intelligence and machine learning can actually take over pretty much any other type of field. Look at hospitals nowadays. More robotics are being used inside of hospitals. So does that mean that people shouldn't go to med school? Should you not invest the 10 years, four years of college, four years of med school, a couple of years of residency in order to become a doctor? Because you might get replaced by a robot powered by artificial intelligence. Well, obviously that's not gonna happen. People are still gonna go to school. People are still gonna go to med school. And while technology is gonna get further integrated in the medical field, human doctors and nurses are still gonna be a viable career choice. And the same can be said about 
lawyers, and other service types of industries. So what does the future of web development look like? For the next 10 years, it looks just fine. So go ahead, learn code. If you're gonna do web development, learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Python, MySQL, MongoDB, learn how to manage servers, and you'll be able to get a job either in a Fortune 500 company as a freelancer or for a startup. The industry is growing, and while most people are starting to scratch their heads and say maybe this is not a good industry to get into, the prospect for the next decade is fine. All right, so I just wanted to share my two cents in terms of what does the future of web development look like? Will we be replaced by artificial intelligence and machine learning? The answer is no. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I create a new video. If you have any comments, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care.